Okay, paper quality with the new security features, length of eight inches for personal and commercial checks. Okay, yes, details must be complete, yung amount, yung date, and signature. So, uh, for your um, checks to be released, pago i-release yung check, kailangan pirmahan ng mismo depositor or yung mismong signature ng may account name. Okay? Yan dapat. Kailangan may signature or else the bank or the, the payee will not accept yung payment mo. Okay? Ito yung bank name. Ayan. Mandatory waiver. So you have to write in words so, yan yung isa pang purpose kung bakit kayo uh, merong ganitong topic, bank reconciliation sa business mathematics. Yan, meron tayong in words na lesson. Ayan. So, you have to write in words. So, nilalagyan palagi ng only. Kasi um, others, let's say, na utusan lang to withdraw, for example, or to deposit, ayan, kailangan nagiging eksakto. Kaya siya nilalagyan ng term na only. What else? So, checks daw with erasures, alterations, pinalitan, and deficiencies, and missing details, even with counter signatures, will no longer be accepted. Ano yung ibig sabihin nitong counter signature? Example, 50,000 pesos yung nakalagay na amount dito. Na mali ako, example, ako yung nag um, lagay nitong 50,000 pesos. Dapat 51,000 pesos. So, in-erase ko yung zero, nilagyan ko ng one. Tapos, lalagyan ko ng signature. Example yan, signature ko. Nilagyan ko. Will the bank be will still accept the check, hindi na daw niya po tatanggapin. The bank will no longer accept the check kasi um, it is already um, counterfeited. Hindi na siya pwede. Hindi na siya pwedeng i-accept. Meron na lang siyang, uh, yun nga, discrepancy. Hindi na nagtutugma. Okay? Doon sa a mismong sinulat ng depositor. Okay. So the um, the banks will no longer accept or yung babayaran niyo. So question, kapag bayad ba ng true checks or di ba pag paper bayad? Um uh, is this good as cash kapag nagbayad kayo? Let's say sa Meralco. Yes, this is good as cash. Okay. But the, the, the payor, okay, yung babayaran natin, okay, uh, must check first if mayroon ba talagang laman yung money mo sa bank. Okay, let's say, nagbayad ka nga ng 50,000 pesos, nilagay mo sa check mo, 50,000 pesos. Pero yung laman na lang pala ng savings account mo ay kalahati na lang 25,000 pesos. Eh yung babayaran mo, 50,000 pesos. Ayan. So, it should um, yeah. be check mo na before... Um, kailangan ma-check mo if enough ba or sufficient yung um, money sa account so my question do you have questions mayroon ba kayong tanong
So, again, sa bank, yung depositor, siya yung mag arrange If gusto niya savings account or checking account, so pipili siya. Kapag savings account, yun, pwede yung ATM or bank, uh, bank book. Ayan, have you seen one na katulad ng ganun, ATM at bank book? So, savings account depositor, nag issue siya ng passbook by the bank. Okay, pwede ipang withdraw and interest are recorded. Kasi nga nagigain ng interest. Yung inyong pera. Pag checking account naman, ito ha, check mismo to. Check. Checking account. Ibig sabihin, ang pang payment mo ay itong paper na to. Okay. Written order siya or instrument. Okay. By the depositor directing as Okay. Yeah, well, uh, let's go back na doon. Ay, let's go to our part 2 kasi we will have our secret. Secret for today. I-end ko na.